What's up everybody, it's your boy Hydro Kid and we are in Project Oasis. My dude Chef Life 420 wanted a little bit more info on the light rails that I'm running in here and the HLG 550s. So I figured it's a great time to do a video on them and let you guys know how I use them and what I think of them. So the light rails are pretty simple. They have a lot of pros and cons to them. This is a light rail IntelliDrive 3.5. I got this off of Amazon. I run two of them in this grill room and it's been running for like two years strong now, actually just about two years. And they're pretty impressive. So the easy way to do it is even if you're growing in tents, these rail kits that they sell come with tent mounts. You can actually mount them to the top of your rails in your tent. But I screwed this one to two by four because it's gonna stay stationary. I don't need to move it out. I'm not using it in the tent anymore. But the purpose of this is to basically move my lights back and forth in the grill room. Some of the pros to that is I don't have to run four to six lights in this 12 by 12 space that I got because this IntelliDrive will actually move my lights back and forth all over the plant canopies for me and kind of even out that light spread. Now, some people will argue that your plants aren't getting all the light that they need uh, the way I look at it is basically in true nature, out and about, you're going to have cloud coverage. You're going to have clouds moving in. So that's where you get your little bit of dark spots over here. And then it will move back. The cool thing with these is basically they run the rail all the way down and they'll come back and forth nonstop. And of course they're off when my light cycles out. There's no point in running them. But they have these switches up here. And what these switches do is once it hits the end of the rail, it hits this pin, it'll push this in, and it'll stop. There's a dial on the side of this thing right here. You can turn it up and down. I have it stopping for about 30 seconds, so it'll actually hold 30 seconds over this end of the grill room, 30 seconds over that end of the grill room, and I'm not too worried about the center because the center is getting the most light exposure anyway from it going back and forth all the time, so it kind of balances it out. That's what I like about these things. Um, they're pretty easy to use, pretty easy to install. They can hold up to 60 pounds, is what they're saying. Um, I'm, with the HLG 550, it's not even really that heavy, but it's working really good. I like them. They're pretty simple. They have a dolly set up on them. There's just a motor on the back side. There's a bottom dolly that holds it on, and two dollies that it basically hangs from on the top. And these dollies just run down, similar to a garage door, back and forth all day long. They do, if you wanted to run more lights in here, they do make kits for these. Um, to add a light kit on basically it's another dolly setup that would come over here or wherever you wanted it at and you could set it up and have the light mover actually move two lights at one time I haven't gone that far yet I'm still just playing with this one and it's been super reliable for me um, and that's what I like about the light rails uh, they save on power I don't have to run all these lights in here I'm still getting good yields out of it and that's kind of what it's all about but the HLG 550 is something newer to me this light is actually pretty amazing. LED, I am an HPS kind of guy. I love the HPSs. Um, as you can see, you can pretty much move these around any way you want. I added this on here. All this is is wire loom. The reason why I added it on there is because the power cord that is hanging from the ceiling and the light mover cord, once these lights move up a little bit, start rubbing on the heat sink a lot. I was really worried about those wires getting worn out. So I just took some wire loom, tied a piece of string to one side, loomed it on there, and that keeps the wires off of that heat sink. Uh, they do get pretty warm, but not super hot. I mean, this has been running for a few hours. You can touch it, move it, um, and it's pretty, pretty laid back. Pretty simple lights, Samsung drivers on these. The nice thing about these HLG 550 V2s is the fact that when you're just starting out with seedlings, you don't need maximum power. So these things will draw all the way up they draw up to 480 watts on these things. So they're fully adjustable though, which is cool. You take a little plug out, which I already did before I started the video, put a Phillips screwdriver in there, and if I can get it to work for me one-handed, we'll try it out. And as you can see, I can turn these all the way down, and I can turn them all the way back up. So you can go down to 220, and all the way up to 480, fully adjustable on these things. They're super thin. I mean, looking at those, I mean, here's my hand next to it. You can see how thin these are. The bonus of that one is I can raise these things almost all the way up to the ceiling, and they're still phenomenal. They're easy to use. They put out a lot less heat than those HPSs. 
Um, but I still like the HPSs. But these HLG 550s are pretty awesome. They are loaded full. Actually, let's see if I can turn it down and we'll get a quick look at the LEDs on the bottom side of this. Let me turn this back down. Boom. That's all the way down. Looking at the LEDs, you can see all the quantum boards. These are beautiful. I've had no problems with any of the LEDs going out. This is the second run I'm gonna run on this. They say these things are good for 50,000 hours. So we'll put it to the test and I'll probably run them until they die. They're a little bit pricey, but they're very comparable to the Spectrum Kings. And that's where I was torn is running Spectrum King or these HLG 550s. And I decided to go with the HLG 550s because they were new and I wanted to try something different out. But that is the gist of the HLG 550 Chef Life 420, man. If you got any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. But literally four contact points for your rope ratchets. Hook it right up to the metal hook on your light rails and they're going. Obviously this one's turned off for the video purposes, but that is what it is, my friend.